After five days of frustration, confusion, and conflicting information, today, finally, a glimmer of a lead in one of the biggest aviation mysteries ever. It came from the Chinese government, and it looked like this. Something spotted on one of its satellites in the South China Sea, right in the flight's initial path. In fact, three different pieces of something. It's not the first time debris has been spotted and investigated, not the first time that hopes have been raised. But as Adrian Arsenault tells us, paired with another reported sighting in the same area, it has combined to create a new flurry of optimism that this plane will not be lost forever. It's not about the plane, it's the people on it. It's Australian Paul Weeks who left his watch and ring behind for his kids in case something happened. It's the Burroughs, a couple celebrating their retirement, and their friends, Bob and Kathy Lawton. She was losing her eyesight. Her husband wanted her to have one last beautiful vacation before she could see no more. With all the confusion about the fate of the passengers, is it any wonder families literally threw water bottles at Malaysian officials today? Almost six days in, instead of eliminating locations, possibilities only grew. That initial search area along MH370's original flight path doubled yesterday, then widened again today, expanding the search field and the countries involved. Tips have been vague, until a report from an oil rig right there, the Songa Mercure, southeast of Vietnam. A worker emailed his boss with a detailed report of seeing something burning in the sky. He gave longitude and latitude coordinates as well as wind direction and compass readings. Curiously, what he saw is consistent with the plane's original flight path, a lead that earned even more credibility when this emerged. Photos from one of 10 Chinese spy satellites, the images taken Sunday morning, showing three large floating objects off the southern tip of Vietnam, not markedly far from the oil rig. The biggest object, some 24 by 22 meters, is that debris from the plane? Cue the doubters. Based on the resolution of these images, I'm skeptical at this point. Normally, if you have pieces of aircraft or possibly pieces of aircraft this large, you would expect to see a large debris field, seat cushions, seats. The, 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 the water isn't that deep there. Plus, the images were captured four days ago. Why are they only emerging now? Who, beyond Chinese authorities, knew about this? For those still curious about why certainty takes so long, Consider that the astronaut who knows this planet better than most isn't surprised. When you get away from land, when you get out over the ocean, in fact, you're basically going over the horizon for a lot of the ways that we communicate. And so the only way is through uh, long-range radio, high-frequency HF radio, or maybe relayed through a satellite. And, and so it's not uh, as, as tightly controlled or watched as people might, might expect. So technology may have shrunk your world, but it didn't shrink the oceans. And Adrian joins us now. It seems for the moment, at least, this Chinese satellite imagery is the best lead there is. It is, and because it's daylight in the region now, we now know that there are crafts en route to the rough area to have a look at surface level. But the confidence in the tip isn't really high enough to suspend all the other searches. And whatever data is out there is still being stared at again, including really the rather mundane reported last words of the pilot, which we understand were simply all right, good night. Sadly, it's just something you say when you leave one country's airspace and head into another. So really, no clues there. All right, Adrian, thanks for joining us on this story again tonight. The missing Malaysia Airlines jet is unprecedented because of its size and the number of people who were on board. But other aircraft have simply disappeared previously, never to be found. In 1962, Flying Tiger Line Flight 739 vanished somewhere between Guam and Manila. 93 U.S. servicemen were on board, along with three Vietnamese soldiers and a crew of 11. The U.S. military searched an area of about 520,000 square kilometers for eight days. And in 2003, a stolen Boeing 727 took off from an airport in Angola and was never heard from again. The CIA and FBI were part of a worldwide search for that aircraft.